Hey guys, what's up? Um, coming off of the Traveler's Camp Fest, I've kind of been motivated and inspired to uh, work on some of the things in my RV. Um, coming into the Camp Fest, I had kind of been feeling like I, I wanted to get something new or something different. But, uh, you know, I think it really was just I needed to organize the RV a little bit more. It started to get cluttered and messy and... I just need to clean it up and get some new ideas to make things a little more comfortable and enjoyable and, and fun for me in here. So, um, definitely loving my RV right now and got some projects going on. Right now, let me show you what I've just put together here. Um, just a simple little switch here for my radio, my just my regular stereo down there. I do have a scanner and a CB here. Those are just wired off the engine battery. I don't really plan on uh, on using those off the house house uh, battery, but I would really like to listen to music in the RV without draining the engine battery. So what I did was put this switch in here. Um, it's an on-off on switch. Here's the information from Napa: seven eight six one two zero is the part number. Um, all you need is something that says on, off, on. Not a big deal. The way it works, that uh, middle terminal back there, the red wire, is going to the actual radio itself. The green wire is going to the uh, engine battery, which is just connected to uh, some wiring here in my dashboard that's connected to my switch, my ignition switch. And then this blue wire I have going to uh, the house battery, but I actually have that hooked up to uh, the solenoid underneath the hood. I didn't, uh, I always knew I had a solenoid there and I knew it had some wires. This is, I'm kind of branching into another project here that I'm working on. Um, that blue wire for this switch to go to the house battery goes into a solenoid that connects to my house batteries back there. What that solenoid does is when I turn the engine on, a wire sends a signal to that solenoid and opens up that connection between my engine battery, which is connected to my alternator, and then it sends it back there too. So that's very cool. Um, I didn't realize I already had that set up in here. It has never worked. So when I was at Traveler's Camp Fest, I crawled around underneath the motorhome and realized hey, all the wiring is already here, something's just wrong, or not working. So, I don't have the part right here. I don't know where it went. But uh, I have a new solenoid that I picked up while, while I was in Corpus Christi. I just need to install that. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. Those solenoids can go bad. So, I'm going to do that here. I'm at a state park, actually. Take a look around me. Um, this is actually Lake... Corpus Christi State Park. That white van over there is JR. I met him at the Traveler's Camp Fest and uh, Felix, big dog RV here, is actually here too. But due to uh, some complications when we pulled in, he actually got a full hookup site for uh, cheaper than we're paying here for only electric and water, which no big deal. It kind of separates us. Um, I was hoping we'd all be together, but no big deal. We can do our own thing. He's just uh, just over this little ridge here, I think. So I'll head over there eventually. But so I'm gonna get that that new solenoid swapped out. Hopefully that circuit breaker that's in there is good. Um, if that circuit breaker is bad, I'll replace that too. But it's only four dollars. So um, another thing I want to do for the alternator charging. Right now, the way it's hooked up, as far as I can see, maybe there's some hidden switch I've never found, but uh, if the engine's on, it's always charging the back batteries. I do not want that to be the case, so I've just got a small little uh, switch that I'm going to install in the dash, and then rewire the, uh, the solenoid a little bit so that I can flip that switch and turn that charging off when I want to. So... Uh, I pretty much showed you the radio here. There's not a whole lot to it. It really is just that switch and then pulling wires in from the right area. Let's go outside and uh, work on that solenoid and show you what I've got going. All right, guys, outside the engine here, let's take a look at uh, what we got. This is the solenoid. 
And this is that new wire I ran to uh, the inside for the stere uh, stereo. It's just in this side of the wire that goes back to the battery. If you put it over here, it won't work. This is the one that is uh, live to the battery all the time. You just have to pay attention to which wire is headed to the back. Um, what I'm going to do is take this out and I've got uh, oh, this new one here from Napa that I just dropped on the ground. Uh, it's part number ST85. Pretty common part. And uh, I'm going to swap that out, put that in there. But what I want to do first is this wire here, this small wire that you see going in there, that is what controls this solenoid. So what I want to do is I want to bring this wire inside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it longer, add a wire to it, and then bring it inside the motorhome and put it to a switch, that switch I showed you, and then bring another wire back outside that hooks it up up there. And that's how this is going to work. So let's, uh, I gotta run those wires for the switch. I don't want uh, to replace this solenoid before I get that switch in there. So wiring up that switch is gonna be my, my first priority. There are some holes over here that go into the dashboard. So I'm gonna just run the wires through there and uh, do it that way. All right guys, coming on inside. I've got those wires coming through. And then they just go to a very basic switch up here on the dash. Um, up is charging and down is, is not charging. So that's all it is on the inside. I just had to drill a hole through there and uh, put that through the back. So almost there. I just need to uh, go back out front and take off that old solenoid and put the new one on. I think I'm done. Here's the new solenoid switch. All wired up, super fancy, colorful wires. Hopefully somebody down the road will know what's going on, but I know what's going on, so that's all I need to do, you know? And uh, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know if it actually works, but it should. So I won't actually be able to test it until uh, a couple days from now when I head back up to San Antonio. So I'll maybe update you guys later, but... For now, here is the new solenoid with all the new wiring. Quick go inside here and check out the switch. Got my new switch here. And then my new uh, radio switch, which my radio is on right now. So that's very cool. Good to go. Two new modifications today. Um, went a lot quicker than I thought they would. And uh, very excited about them. So. I'll let you guys know how it works out. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe if you want. Like the video, do all that stuff. Um, I'm going to go eat some burgers with Felix. So, See you later, guys.